Welcome to Christchurch Daily Devotion. My name is Ronell Odendol. When we go on holiday and it's a beach holiday, I like picking up shells. I like to pick up the ones with intricate shape and a nice pattern on them. I bring them home and I put them in a glass jar in my bathroom. It reminds me of a good times that we've had. But as you know, on a beach, there's most likely to be shells that are broken. They have been battered by the ocean. The creature that lived inside have died, uh, perhaps because they've, they've broken. But that exposed their inner inside that is actually quite intricate and beautiful to look at. It made me think about God and how he picks us up when we are broken. But he picks us up regardless of where we find ourselves in in life. If we are willing and reach out to God, he will pick us up. He knows our innermost being. We have been formed by God. And in Psalm 139 it says, O Lord, you have searched me. You know me. You know when I sit and you know when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all of my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you know it completely, O Lord. And in verse 13 it says, For you created my innermost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that fully well. And my frame was not hidden from you when I <clears throat> was made in the secret place. When I was woven together in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed body. See, God doesn't need to, to, for us to be this exposed for him to know us. He knows us fully well. He protects us and he will cover us in his love. For you who don't know, my sister was brutally murdered in 2005. And after her death, we have discovered, or my, my daughter discovered, um, a notebook she kept where she talked um, with God. Just note she wrote down her thoughts um, and how she felt. And one was um, printed on the back of her uh, memorial service sheet. And in, in, in the first part of it, she thanked God for the blessings of all the people that she had in her life, from the gardener, the people that worked in the house, um, the greengrocer, her family, her children. She mentioned um, her husband, everybody that meant to her. And she was so grateful that, that, that God blesses them all. And then she says, but God, who am I that I ask so much? And what do I give? She said, I'm arrogant. I'm full of plans. I'm cunning. I'm self-assured. I'm wayward. I'm self-satisfied. I'm lazy. Lord Jesus, I kneel before you. Forgive me. Please do not judge me on all of the above. Lord, I am nothing but a creation shaped in my mother's womb. You are my life. You care for me. What I have received is all from you. A beautiful portion you have assigned to me. Yes, I delight in what I have received. Jeanette Grobler I pray that this Easter we will be able to say we are sorry Lord that we are arrogant, that we are full of plans, that we are cunning, that we are self-assured, that we are wayward, we are self-satisfied, we are lazy, Lord, we kneel before you. Forgive us. Please do not judge us on all of the above. Because, Lord, we are nothing but a creation shaped in our mother's womb by you. You, God, are our life. You care for us. And what we have received from you is a beautiful portion of forgiveness. You assign to me, Lord everything that I have and I delight in it and I want to praise your name. Amen. Have a blessed Easter. Amen.